Hello and welcome back planner friends. Today we're going to go through my sticker storage slash collection. So you'll see all of my stickers and I'm going to go through all of them. The bulk of my stickers are in these five binders. This purple one is new, but these are my main four. We're going to go through those today along with um, my smaller albums. I have them on the side here, but um, we're going to get started with my kit album. So I keep a year's worth of kits in these two binders here. And then this is my main pull in extra binder. And then this is my leftovers binder and these are all printable things. So um, that's why it's smaller. Um, I don't really have much in it right now, but as I begin to print and cut some things, it'll probably get, get chunkier, but right now it's not too much in there. But anyways, um, let's get started. And hopefully this video is not too long. If it is, I may have to split it into two as I did before, but um, that pre those previous setup videos have changed. And so I just, needed to do an update and someone requested this and I felt like you know what I've got my system down pretty well so why not let's film it so here we are we're gonna get started with these two I'm gonna put these off to the side um, one thing to note about my storage is that it all fits in one drawer with the exception of my washi tape um, I'll insert um, a clip of my washi tape somewhere in this video but um, with the exception of my, of my washi tape everything else fits in one drawer of my Ikea Alex drawer that's actually one side of my table for my desk. So um, now that you kind of know how that is, if it ever gets outside of that drawer and it's like stickers, then I know I have a problem and I need to reel back. So um, that's pretty much why I do it that way. Also binders, it creates limited space. So I don't have like a stash of kits or sticker sheets that I'm hoarding um, or just holding on to. And so with that, you know, I, I feel like those are ways that I try and confine myself because this is a very expensive uh, ho hobby to have, especially if you're buying from shops like Glam Planner, Scribble Prints Co. And I'm not saying value-wise it's a bad price, but $30 for a kit and say you're a no white space planner, that's quite a bit of money to spend every week. If you, And if you have that kind of money, that's totally fine. There are lots of people who do, but there are people who are like me who don't and need to make something else work. And that's sort of why I've gotten into white space planning and um, using binders helps me control that spending and actually plan my kits. So we're gonna get started with the one I'm currently in. This is my January through June. It's my favorite one. I love the navy color. I just got these from the Target dollar spot and they were $3 a piece. And then I also picked up the matching dividers because I wanted to separate it by month, as you can see here. This one's set up similarly, but we'll get into that shortly. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in here and we're gonna get started. Okay, so now that we're zoomed in and everything, I'm going to open this up and here we've got the inside as I peeked before. Before I did, I was just using one, but now I just know it's the January. And then these little tabs here, I have a silhouette, so I got this as a freebie by Pretty on Paper Co. Um, she hasn't done one recently, but one Friday she released these and it's just a set all the way through um, 2019, I believe, of stickers. Uh, Andrea from Squirrel Prints Co. did the same thing, but here I marked my monthly since I marked January's already passed, so I'm going to be thinking about next January's monthly kit in here. And then we have February, which I've already thought about February. Um, I'll have to replace this sticker, but ultimately you've got the monthly sticker again, and then I, I know that I want to use this kit next February. It's a printable by um, Beautiful Be Beautiful Planning, and um, this is just basically the week um, that I want to use that kit only this is this current year I need to do February this time next year so I haven't gone in and replaced those yet this is just leftovers from the kit that I was using sometimes I take them out of the packaging sometimes I don't but um, these are just empty because we just got finished with February and have moved into March so here's my March uh, section and um, March monthly empty again um, this I have a plan with me for and I will leave that link down below it turned out super cute um, and then the video for this is already up I'll link that down below as well but um, this is my spring break week and then I haven't filmed my plan with me yet and I'm filming on a Saturday y'all but I'll get to it I post my plan with me on Tuesdays just because a lot of times I don't really know what my week's gonna look like till Sunday night or even Monday morning so I give myself a little buffer so here um, this is what I'm going to use for next week. It's a kit by Wild Summer Designs, and it's just this really pretty bee kit. Um, the clip art is by TWG Designs, aka the Wicked Gypsy, and I just really love how this personal kit is formatted, and then the girl sticker, and I got the littles, so there's that. 
The following week is Easter, so I got the personal kit from Wild Summer Designs as well. I really, really love this shop, and I'd have to say this shop is favorite. It's probably like my top favorite. Um, SPC and Wild Summer Designs are probably my two favorite shops um, as far as like quality, shipping, design, uniqueness, etc. Like, I always, always love it. And the extra plus about Wild Summer Designs is that there's usually a big release sale coupon code. Um, I just recently did that with um, the Spring Spells, I believe it's called. But I bought a bunch of stuff that would have cost me a lot, but there was a 50% off coupon. And I think running throughout the year, she has a 40% off coupon. So that makes it even better to me. And the fact that I I like this shop for her matte paper. I'm very much more matte than I am glossy, but that's all that Scroll Prints Co. offers is glossy, which is totally fine, great quality. But me, my preference is matte. So while some designs, I usually keep a tab open for her because I just, I love her designs and I love her paper. Um, recently, she had a snafu with her recent matte paper, which is what this is on. Wasn't working with her printers, but she's decided to offer premium matte now. And I mean, the fact that she's doing that and not really changing the price much at all. It just says a lot to me about that shop. So I'll continue shopping from her. All right, moving into April. The monthlies are empty because I just haven't found my groove with the monthly yet. Um, I don't know if I want to do like a memory keeping or what. Um, currently, this is the weekend of the student's prom that I've been planning and working on. So I don't have a kit for it yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to use for it. I don't know if maybe I'll design something. But following that week, I have quite a bit in here. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I may do some mixing and matching. I'm pretty sure I'm going to mix and match. But essentially, so I've got two kits in here with the same papers. So this is, ooh, is that focused? Okay, I apologize if I wasn't focused. But um, here we've got a kit by Paper Crown Planner, which is one of my favorite printable shops. Um, the, the way her layouts are, I get everything I need and I can still pull in things and make a really cohesive spread. And it looked really pretty and it's affordable. So I love how she interpreted the clip art here. And these are some of my favorite boxes. And then I also like the check boxes, how they are here. And then I like the cool ombre effect here, but knowing me, I'll use these instead. And then you get all these little functional bits here. And I love the script. That's one of my favorite things about this shop, along with the date covers. I'll probably actually use those. I don't really use the hydrate trackers or whatnot, but I love that. And then um, she will offer other skin tones because, I mean, I'm not fair skinned. So I appreciate when shops can do that. Or better, I should say, I appreciate when clip art artists, um, when they make their their designs that they offer different skin tones. Um, that's one thing I love about Kittenish Girl Plans. She provides a variety of skin tones. There's not just light skin and dark skin, um, but there's also a middle shade because a lot of us girls are middle shade. We might be a little bit tanner or, you know, I'm not 100% dark skin, but, you know, I'll, I'll still choose this girl over using one of these girls because I want, I'm, I'm a planner girl that likes, a, likes the girls. I like the girls, but I like the girl to make me feel like I see myself in her or, you know, I would like to look as chic as that one day. You know, that's kind of my thought process. But yeah, anyways, getting a little bit off topic. Um, but in the sheet, she gives you the different options available. And even down here with some deco with this adorable hubby. Do you see that little guy? If it'll focus. You see that little guy? He is the cutest. Absolute cutest. And then over here, you get some bow headers, which are really cute. I like the type of bow she used. And then some Etsy labels. Then you also get a page here with the glitter headers, some a glitter, basically a glitter sampler sheet. And that is the kit. Now, I love the layout of this kit. However, because I couldn't get the Scribble Prints Co. version of it because it was too expensive, I bought printables and I picked up the second kit um, with the same papers by Paper and Gumption um, for a specific reason. That box right there. Because too cute, okay? Too cute. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's the most adorable dog I've seen in clip art yet. Again, I just, I obsess over TWG Designs. I love, love her papers. I love her clip arts. Um, she, along with Kittenish Girl Plans, are probably my two favorites, hands down. Um, but yeah, this is a paper and gumption version of that same art by TWG Designs. And there's only one gripe I have about paper and gumption. Her kits are not formatted in a way that's easily stored or trimmable to be stored. So you'll see how I kind of made it work, but ultimately... I can't work with a full sheet all the time, especially when this is my sticker storage. So anyways, moving on here, we've got the full boxes, which are gorgeous. And the quote says, be anything but predictable. And I'm just going to breeze through it a little bit. But you'll see, I had to make some sacrifices here to make, to cut this. And I, I do not like that. Um, but then you get the different options here, get more of the little puppy. Um, 
but yeah, you see, I have to sacrifice my movie marquee and a can cancel sticker, which is not much to sacrifice. I could reprint it, but you know, why do I have to do that at all? Why can't these kits be formatted to be storable the same way that a bought kit would be? And I get maybe it has something to do with space and how much is offered. I do love that phone at the bottom. It's so cute. Um, and then this was a little bit tricky, but um, you get more options here with skin tone. You get another one with just the doggy, and then you get this girl here. Um, well, you get the skin tone here. And then how about this? A big one of just this little doggo. He's so cute. I love him. I'm obsessed. And then you get this as well and this as well. And again, for storage purposes, I had to trim it funny. But essentially, I'm going to find a way to combine those kits and you will see how it works out. So there's that. And here we've got an oldie kit. Um, this is Misfit Florals by Shop Jessica Hearts. I'm going to follow up with for that week. And I absolutely love this, um, partially because it was called Misfit Florals. I love florals, but, you know, Foxy Misfit Plants, you know. Um, I just love the colors, too. It's a deep plummy, not plummy, but just a deep wine type of red. I also got the sheet of extra, of extra computer monitors here because I thought they'd come in handy. And then I also got this sampler sheet, and this is a mini kit. This was before she did all eight boxes, which I'm actually fine with having just these five to choose from because of how I plan in my B6. I don't really need all eight boxes. And sometimes I can fit nine boxes in a spread, you know, it just depends. But um, I really love this layout and how it's formatted, formatted. And I just was obsessed with the color. So I thought it'd be perfect for this year. Been hoarding it since last year. <laughs> and then I also got the sheet of labels. Um, I used to buy from Shop Jessica Hearts religiously. She's still a really good shop and I really love her stuff and her design eye for how she works with clip art and kits. It's usually very unique. She was also the first shop to start doing photo kits that I was aware of. Um, and just, you know, she basically created a revolution amongst the planner community by doing that. So I always have a special place in my heart for Shop Jessica Hearts, but I no longer pick up a lot of her stuff just because um, my, my style has changed a little bit and um, it's only occasional when things like this really fit me. So, but this one was a winner, so I've been hoarding it. Then next, I've got a kit by Paper Crown Planner. Um, I'm just gonna breeze through it really quickly because um, it's the same format. So yeah, this one's a little bit shorter, but really, really pretty kit. Thought it worked beautifully. I love the little cheetah polka dot print down there. Then this week, um, April 30th through May 6th, I plan on using some leftovers from a Glam Planner uh, kit. And I've got two full boxes to work with, some headers, some little things. Uh, pl just plenty to make a full spread in my B6 with, so I figured why not. And so moving on, I'm going to try and speed this up here, skip the May monthly. Then we got a week here in May. I'm going to actually be combining this um, old style personal kit from Let's Plan It. It's just three pages. I've done kits with, I've done spreads with this type of kit before. And then I had some leftovers from Ladylike by Shop Jessica Hearts that I felt actually matched the colors really well. So you see those pinks go together. And I thought this, I just, yeah, basically I felt like this would be enough for me to create a spread. And then here we've got another hoarded Shop Jessica Hearts kit. It's called Gray Sky. I'll just show y'all that this really quickly. This is a full kit, so you got the half boxes, headers, and we can banner the ombre heart checklist, the little things. I love this format of her kits, um, and I love what she did with this clip art because I found this clip art, and I mean, just how she interpreted it made it just a hundred times better. Come what may, I always figured it should work in May, so I decided to use it um, the week of graduation. I thought it'd be cute. I'm actually gonna put this in there without the sleeve on. So that's what I'm going to use that week. And then we have the week following. And this is of a photo kit by SPC. It's the first one Andrea ever did. And I made sure to pick it up because this mini kit format is probably going to be perfection for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to breeze through this just because Andrea goes through her kit. So if you are familiar with it, you can go find her channel and watch these things. But I'm just going to flip through it. Um, I picked this specifically because it's my sister and brother's anniversary week. So um I call him my brother, but he's my brother-in-law. But here we've got just her huge freebie. Then we've got the full boxes, little things, headers, half boxes, quarter boxes, labels, sidebar, heart checklist, we can banner icons. And then I love how this is formatted. I'm not big on deco, especially with a photo kit. You don't have deco to work with. So I love how Andrea fit in date covers and the habit trackers here and just a little bit of washi. And then she started doing this faux double washi, which I love. Love the option. So 
and I'm going to keep this with it because I think the little label's cute. But that's what I've got planned for the next two months. And then finishing up May and moving into June, I picked up some kit leftovers from Wild Sunshine Co. I just got these two sheets because I can totally work with this and make it really nice. Um, I'll probably pull in more of the pink because the yellow is such a strong color. I'll probably try and soften it up with some pinks and some nudes. So that's that. Then moving into June, um, I have a photo kit I plan on using by Beautiful uh, Planning. Um, this is a, it's called Enjoy Every Moment, and this is the headers sheet, and then I've got both this version of Checklist and Hat Boxes and this version. I didn't print the whole kit because I don't need the whole kit. Um, the full boxes, um, it's a photo kit, and so um, the full boxes are missing at the moment because they were miscut, so I need to reprint and cut them, but I figured I would wait until I actually needed them. And then here, I've got an OG sponsored by Coffee Kit. Um, maybe not OG, but the shop is OG because she's been closed and I don't think she'll reopen. I think there was something going on with um, like her HOA and running her business out of her house. So um, I don't believe the shop is any is open any longer, but I loved her. Um, I can't remember what type of kit this was, but it, I think it was called the Simple Kit. So you got, um, I think you got glitter headers. Or maybe you could pick these up extra. And then these half boxes are actually split in half. Um, and she tries to be smart about where she splits them so it doesn't go like through the girl's face or anything like that. But as you can see, um, it's this is the Hafa Adai Part 2 kit. Um, and it's a very summery type vacation kit. And I thought it was really pretty. And then you got your all your headers that you need. You got little things. I mean, it's a simple kit. It's straightforward. You got your check boxes, check flags here. And um, I believe these are um, measured so that you could use these flags in an hourly, which is which was super cool. It's unfortunate that our shop's no longer open. And then I loved her day covers. Um, they gave me vibes of old, old school Prince Co headers, and I miss those. Those are probably my faves, but you know, when you're in the mood to change things, you just change things up, and you never know, change can be good or change is just different. Then you got your sidebar stuff here, date covers, a little bit of washi, some flags, which I love the shape of these flags. And then you got split washi, so um, you could choose which one you wanted. And then these are probably, they're not half boxes and they're not quite third boxes. I'd say they're a little bit shorter. Maybe they are third boxes, but they are definitely in between um, half and quarter. So there's that one. And yeah, this video is going to be super long if I go through all the kits like this. So I'm going to breeze through. Um, got another Wild Sunshine Co. kit. This is just a personal add-on from Creating Co. I don't know if this is going to stay there, but I thought it'd be a pretty kit. Then I've got these leftovers just sitting here from Shop Jessica Hart's uh, kit. Um, they're a bit dark, so I don't think I'll use them right now. But this is basically my hoarding section. Um, I got um, Glam Planner's wedding kit in here along with the I Am Glam SPC kit with extras. Um, I'm hoarding those for the moment uh, along with um, this vacationing type kit from uh, Wild Summer Designs. So that's what I have in here. I have a few um, leftovers from Paper Dove Shop, which I, I believe she's still closed at the moment, but this is like her old layout from a previous kit called Flora. And they, I mean, these colors can work with just about any kit. Um, I then also have some other pieces here, I got some remnants from a My Newest Addiction um, kit, I believe. I can't remember what it was called. Sunday Goals, that's what it was called. There it is. And then I have this sheet here. I don't know. I kind of thought these could go together, but I don't know. We'll see. And then in the back here, I have this kit, which I was going to use on that week of my sister and brother's anniversary, but I don't know. I may use this. Let's see. I may go ahead and put this here and use it um, for the night of prom because why not? It'll work. So yeah, that is the first binder and we're going to move on to the next one. All right, so this binder has my July, um, again, matching dividers and whatnot. It has my July through December. So we've got the monthly. Um, this one's blank for right now. I will be going to England in July. I believe I'm leaving on this week, but I'm not sure. I figured on this one, though, I could combine this uh, Wild Summer Designs kit. These are some papers by Blooms of Cold that came out last year. But I figured I could combine it with some sheets I got from Brandy's shop, which 
I think pretty much I like her in Brandy Shops for full boxes and the half boxes sheet. Um, I'm not so big on this sheet here. It's okay. But I figured mixing it, I can't stand these littles. They're too little. That's all I'm going to say about that. But um, I don't know. I'm, I'm Jury's still out on it, but we'll see. And then while I'm in England, I figured um, this would be really pretty. This is the Two Little Bees Love Simply kit. I'm not going to pull it out just because this video will be too long. Um, it's going to be long enough as it is. But then um, I have that. And then uh, we'll be in England for three weeks. So um, I have this kit. It's um, inspired by Pride and Prejudice, but it's an OG Scribble Prints limited edition kit that was on Morris PC when she did that for special kits. So I'm just showing you what's in it here. Um, and the, the full box set, you must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you, which is not the exact quote from the movie, but hey, I'll take it. But yeah, there's that. I've got another kit space holder here, but I thought this would be pretty going into August. I don't know. It gives me cactus vibes, so we'll see. And then moving into August, um, I have this kit by Samantha Mae Sticks, which is super gorgeous. I thought it was fitting for August and going back to work. And it's got these light peachy, like it's got like a summer vibe, but a summer office type of vibe. And since classes won't have started yet, I figured it'd be good. And then getting ready, um, I don't have like another kit here. So we're moving on to that. But then this is the first week of classes. So I figured I could work with this and make a spread out of it work. Um, same thing here. Um, this is another I believe TWG Designs clip art, and I loved, love, love that interpretation. But I don't always have the money to get full kits, and I. But sometimes I just want to have just a piece of it so that I can work around it. Um, moving into September, which is my birthday month, um, I have this here. I am going to do like a little Frankensteining with this old, old like super OG. I think this is the first time Andre came out with personal kits, and I still have it, and I plan on using it. And I figure I pull in these extras from. Uh, the paper dove shop which I feel like they would just they match anything so why not I figured I'd pull those in and create a spread then um, the following week I've got glam squad by shop Jessica hearts lined up and then I have the birthday kit from planning world um, I believe this was made for Kiara but then she brought it into the shop so I'm gonna use it on my birthday week and then I got another shop Jessica hearts uh, coffee date it's the mini kit version but it comes with eight full boxes on that one so there's that and then moving into October I've got a Caress Press kit. I absolutely love this kit. I thought it was stunning. So um, when it came back in stock, I didn't waste any time. I'm going to flip through it just briefly, get the little things. You got this beautiful scene of the mom with the kids. And then you got mama here looking all hot and sassy. And then you got this functional sheet here. And I just loved how fall this was. Look at these full boxes and that adorable pup. Just too cute. It says pumpkin kisses harvest wishes. But I just love the incorporation of the lighter orange with a little of the burnt orange and the dark greens. I just thought it was a smart look and no one else did that clip art justice. So um, I had to have this kit. And then bringing back yet another year, we've got Hello Fall by SPC. I've got the leftovers. There's quite a bit in there. And so I'm gonna work that in. These are also leftovers from Organizing Companion. Um, it's a beautiful fall kit. I figured, you know what? I got plenty to work with here. And then this is a sheet from my newest addiction. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but I figured it would be one of those weeks I could just make it work with some extras. And then my friend is getting married this weekend. So for her for her wedding, I chose the Scroll Prince Co. wedding kit, which I thought was just gorgeous and girly. And I just thought it'd be a good way to celebrate her day. So here's just everything that I got. I like, I may switch out this weekend banner for a foil, foiled one if I ever get some foiled stuff, but... Um, this is essentially the kit I'll be working with, and I think it'll be stunning, um, even though it's an October-November wedding. I, it just gives me wedding vibes, and I love the flow, even week to week in my planner using it. So I just, I could I could not use this kit um, for her wedding. I think it was made perfect for it. I don't know exactly what everything's looking like yet. She's still in the planning phases, but um, things are coming together, and I'm excited. Then moving into November, I got some leftovers from a Wild Summer Designs kit. This is clip art by LP Studio. So I was like, sure, let's toss it in. I also have some leftovers by Glam Planner. So threw those in, figured that would work. And then I have an empty week here. And these are leftovers from a mini kit by Squirrel Prince Co. But considering how far I can stretch things, I feel like I can make this work. Um, and I'll probably put it in conjunction to um, some similar clip art that I have stashed away. Actually, let me go ahead and pull it out. So 
so I also have this left over and this is my planning world but it's similar clip art just done differently but since I don't have much of it left in these Squirrel Prints Co leftovers I'm gonna pair it with these with the foil from this kit and make it work and I think it's gonna come out awesome so there's the end of November into December and then I've got these leftovers by Paper Dove Shop again OG stuff but um, if I have it I need to use it because I'm preparing to go on a no spin and I'll talk more about that in my plan with me so there's that and then um, my sister's birthday along with my granddaddy's birthday is this week in December so I'm thinking about using this birthday kit from Five Flat Paper Shop just just because I mean I get in the holiday spirit but I kind of wait till like it's like mid-December anyway to kind of get there like I'm, I'm that person whose Christmas tree will stay up through January <laughs> um, if that gives you any um, indication and then here I've got a blank week and then the week of Christmas um, I have this lined up because I thought it was super cute and it's Violet's Planet. It's a personal kit. And then the week of New Year's is blank. So those are all of my kits. And um, now we're going to move into my other two binders. All right, now we've got my other two binders. My everything's to pull in and my leftover binders. So we're going to go through the leftover binder first because this one is going to, this binder, it'll make sense. It's going to lead me into things that I use out of my smaller photo albums. So leftovers. There are just a ton. Um, I have this from Creating Co. that was going to be like a monthly thing, but it kind of like didn't happen anymore. And honestly, I didn't get a whole lot of use out of it, even though I love the colors. Here I've got some glitter headers from Let's Make It Sparkle. I just pulled them in as needed. Um, here are basically Scribble Prince Co. kit leftovers. Try and like organize this by shop, but you know, did the best I could. This is a sticker bloom leftover. Um, the, it's literally just that sheet that I'm working with. I don't know if I'll pull it in or what. Um, here are some Wild Summer Design leftovers that I haven't scheduled. We've got some random leftovers here. Soda Pop Studio leftover from the Thanksgiving kit. Also got Planting Roses like Christmas leftover. Um, Glam Planner Thanksgiving kit leftover. Firefly Paper Shop. Got some leftovers, honeydew paper, got leftovers, sponsored by coffee, shop just the hearts, hello simple paper, um, organizing, this, this is basically a mod podge of leftovers in here, and then, um, I have these weather stickers that I basically put down from Paper Love and Mommy, I haven't used them in a while, I have the sampler I got from, uh, Sticker Bloom, um, during a sale, I have this winter chill kit from, uh, Planner Bell Press, which her kits are super affordable. Her little things are just the size of labels, and I don't know how I feel about it. And then um, got Little Red Prints and Paper and Gumption, which I had to basically chop up to store it in here. Again, not my favorite thing about that shop. And then um, everything else I love, but then I've got some Piper Paper Company uh, leftover takeout things here. So that's my leftovers binder. I only pull that out if I, I just can't find anything in here or in these six little pieces here so I'm gonna get started going through those and all right moving in I just have random dividers in here um, but I love this color um, it's pretty so I have my also paper girls my mini friends here and then I've got my uh, other girls here so just the bigger size girls sorry you can see that so let me get centered in here okay so we got the mini mini friends here and I've got different kinds of her and so this is basically my also paper section. And then I've got my Fox and Pip section where I've got basically keep my whole collection in here. And then I've got my foiled section. So there's basically Clever Gal Crafts all through here. Um, and then at the back, I have this little sheet that's got Rose Shadow Collection, which um, I pull in every now and then. And then I've got these from My Newest Addiction and these left over from Rose Colored Days, which... Her, st her shop just doesn't seem like it's going to be ever stopped. Her stuff sells out so fast, and I, I understand why, but me and my low-budget self can't keep up. Um, here we've got some OG date covers from ColourPop Paper, and I've still got plenty of these, so I have those. Got some Paper Panda uh, script stickers. I got a whole stack of because they were a dollar a sheet. Um, and then here we've got some glitter headers from Nicole Hush Designs. Got some Caress Press work headers, work labels. Also, have the Scroll Prints Co. version, which I like better than these, um, just because I don't have a start and stop time to my job, and really they need to know total hours versus what hours. I clocked in and clocked out, because I don't clock in or clock out, I just work whenever they need me. And then on the back, I've got my filming trackers. I've got these mini icons that I bought forever ago and still have not used. 
I'm not an icon person, so I don't know why I bought them. Then I've got this little marble sampler that I've been holding on to. I just pull in as needed. Then I got some planting roses stuff in this pocket here that's doubling as a divider. I've got Peaceful Mind Design. And then I've got some Crafts by Towie here, paper crown prints, got some disc. And then got uh, these two sheets from Nicole Hutch Designs. And then these are from a shop called Miss Adeline. And she has these girls. They don't have faces to them. But this was the graduation countdown that I never got around to using. Um, then she has like these working girls, which are super cute. So I may try and start pulling them in in some spreads just to make them super, just to make them a little bit more involved in my spreads. I hate that I'm not, not using them. I'm kind of hoarding them. And then I've got, I hope the light's not too bad on this. Sorry about the glare. I hope that's a little bit better. But here we've got some, basically a sampler um, of functional stuff from Aria's Daydream. I've also got some planners, saying time to plan. And then I've got some planner-esque, I've got Let's Bake, and then these were probably the, probably, mm, probably my favorite sticker of all time, not for use, but just for what it says. Fiddle focus. Okay, ladies, now let's get information. I, I just died. The, the pun level of that was like a level 10. Then I've got some, going back here, got some Shop Just the Heart stuff. I got a like fall bucket list as well as these labels. And then I've got this sheet, these two sheets from Pigeon Paper Company from forever ago. Um, it's not really my style, but they're cute, so I'm holding on to them. Also have these from Wild Sunshine Co. Just because I used to use them and now I don't, so I just have them. <laughs> I don't know, I may do a D-stash after this video. And then I have these trackers from Queen Bee Designs. Uh, she's since gone to a website, she's no longer on Etsy. And I have these film slates from Mandy Dreams. I've got these from printers from Amber's Design Studio, but she's no longer open. And then I prefer these from Piper Paper Company. It's on her newer paper. And I like using these when I've got, when I know I've got a heavy computer afternoon or something like that at work. And then I got these from Creating Co along with these meal plan stickers. Then I have these from Paisley Prince Co. She's a Canadian shop, and they're just a little disc. And then got date dots from Wild Summer Designs, along with these uh, step tracker stickers here. Meeting and lecture from Amber's Design Studio, which I probably need to de-stash. And then these are tabs that can work on the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly, or maybe in your um, if you have a if you have a ring bound planner or anything like that, and you need to mark the months. That's what I got those for. So that's my all the things pull this into your spread binder. I have to work on a better name for it. And now we can go into these cups. So sorry, there's stuff moving around on my desk. So I've got six of them and they all have particular things starting with this one. <clears throat> okay, so this one is my Scribble Prince Co. I've got some LG stuff in here. Hello, Olivia. I'll miss you forever. Um, and then I've got some old school $2 Tuesday stuff. I love these puffs. Still got them. And then, yeah, just lots, lots and lots here. Is it in focus? I hope so. If it wasn't, I'll just flip through again. So, yeah, OG Olivia Scribbler Girl. I shall miss her for eternity. She was my fave. <laughs> Anyways, I've got this like special sampler and I've got $2 Tuesday oldies, multicolor, multicolor oldies, some glitter headers, like extras from mystery kits when I was subscribed. Um, again, $2 Tuesday stuff. Basically, any smaller sheet coming from SPC that I ordered. I even got the sampler of Olivia because I'm hoarding them. And then um, they got lost in the mail, so they had to send me another one, which came with this cool freebie. Um, and then I just have random bits here. And then I stuck these in because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. So these are the Honeybee Shop. And I'm going to save them for the next Halloween. So yeah, that's that one. And then here we've got Fox and Cactus along with Glam Planner. So it's split. But I know that those are the only two shops in here. So we've got the Fast Food Junkie. We've got the Working Hard or Hardly Working. We've got the Reading Fox and Cactus Girl. And these are all the Ombre Girls. So they're really special. I need to order the regular ones because I've had to pull some of my ombre girls and I don't want to use them all. So these are definitely my favorite. And love this girl. 
and this is probably my favorite sheet. I love the ombre hair color, but again, like I said, I don't want to have to pull them in and use them because they're so cute, and I, don't, I just want to hoard them, <laughs> but that's just, that's it for that, and then I have Teenies by Glam Planner, which I have stopped collecting. It's just too much. You can make an activity out of anything, but um, got the Reading Girls. I picked up two different ones. I have Honey and Bun, and then Polka and Dot, and so Polka and Dot is probably like the curly hair version, but you know, what else? I've got them reading, doing face mask, exercising, um, eating donuts and uh, junk food, payday, drinking coffee, birthdays, uh, just wiped out and tired, doing laundry. I got the couple ones. We'll see if I ever use them. Hashtag single forever. Um, the working ones and then, yeah, another couple ones. Don't know why I got those. And then uh, the lazy day type ones. And then this is just a, a sampler from Stick With Me shop which is so hard to get to because she works, but she also has these cute little panda stickers. But yeah, those are the first two. And then the rest are just kind of a mix. So we're gonna start with these two. This one's a bit thicker and I've just got um, all kinds of sheets. Um, Dizzy Daydreams is currently closed because she's in law school right now. These little health, healthy apples, um, I don't know how I'm going to use those. Uh, I got these because these were, can be pretty functional. Um, love Mona, still hoarding the original Mona here, but I'll have to get some more. Um, got some relaxing girls. This was like the first time I saw a shop use clip art in a functional way, and I, I appreciate that on a spiritual level. So I got some of those. And then I have these weather stickers from Prickle Pear Studio really like her style. It reminds me a lot of Bubba Bear Studio. And I've got some munchkins from Once More With Love. Though I may de-stash these. We shall see because I have pretty much fallen for emojis. And actually, I think I might have went through that too fast. So I'll just go through each one. Got the sadness munchkins, the uh, frustrated munch munchkins, the laundry munchkins, the law munchkins because I had to take a law class in graduate school. And then, um, the baking ones, the drawing on their iPad, the thank God it's Friday, the talking on the phone ones, the headache slash migraine ones, the study ones, which I don't need anymore, the um, cooking ones, and then we move into emojis, which no offense to Once More With Love or the Munchkins, they're super cute. I do love them, but when it comes to using in my spread, I actually kind of have an addiction to emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. So we got the surgeon emojis, but I feel like it looks like a dentist too, so what else? I'll use them for both. Then we got the doctor one, um, which I'm glad that I have because I've been stocking stuff in my favorites to uh, pick up later. Um, got the meeting sheet, which I should use more often, and then have the sleepy tire, but I need to do work ones. But yeah, um, which is usually me in the afternoon. It's not even at night. And then I got these chain sheets from Murdoch Talks because I love her multicolor. Got these for Christmas from Grady & Co. These time dots from Little Red Prince, which are super functional almost used up these. This, I did have a full sheet of both, but this is what I have left. I need to hurry up and use these. Got some family time stickers from Chic Street Sticker Boutique, along with doctor's appointment, church, and um, I had a brunch sheet. I don't know where that went to. But then I have these uh, hair washing stickers from Creative Keo. Um, sometimes I mark when I wash my hair, um, sometimes I don't. And then here I've got some printables. Um, these are from the New Year Goals sheet, but this is by Paper and Gumption. Now I will say I love Paper and Gumption's functional type things because they're perfect. Um, got the lose weight, eat healthier ones, drink more water, exercise more, sleep more. And those are the four that I have in here because I just, I ran out of space. So I've got to figure out some storage for that. So that's everything in this one. Next, I have my other hodgepodge. This is, I call this the, like, the dainty one. <laughs> but here we've got a collab with the Planner Sophisticate and Rose Colored Days. I have just a couple of those sheets there. And then here, got some Simply Watercolor Co. Um, my newest addiction date cover-ups, which I probably can't even use a full week out of that. And then we've got this from my newest addiction, Sleepover, Sleep In, Nap Queen. I am planning on getting the lash pillows, too. Got these bows. I need to get the neutral ones. We got Me Time Part 1, uh, the um, makeup brushes ones, which I don't really use a lot, but they're, these are huge. Absolutely huge. Then we got the Planner Sophisticated Exclusive Sampler, because I think when I used her coupon code, I got it. Then we have these decorative headers by Hello Simple Paper. Got a $5 Friday set by Shop Jessica Hearts here. So this was the whole set. 
It was very travel themed, so yeah. Got those. Got these from Crafts by Tally, along with those for hair washing. Um, Zoe from the Crafty Banana. I used her in my in a previous plan with me, and she was so cute. I also like the coffee cups from there, so I have those. These are from Jam Sticker Shop, along with the rest of these, which are super cute and really. I believe she hand drew these, which are awesome. Probably some of my favorite salad bowls ever, and I mean, how cute this is this? And then I have a collection of the Chic Streak Sticker Boutique. Um, I believe these are the, not the mini, but this is the small size. So in between the large and the mini. So I have those. So that's it for those two albums. And then on to the last two. This will be it for the video. But here is basically all my printables. And then here I've got a mix of printables and ones that I've made myself. So we got Paper Crown Planner with the meal thing. So all four of these came on a sheet together. And then there's part two where these four came on a sheet together. And then this, uh, I have to link the shop down below, but these are SE nail polish stickers. I thought they were cute, but I have some other nail polish stickers that I like better. Isha B Print Shop. Um, it's Isha B Prints Co. on Etsy. Just so you know, I've gotten confused about it before, but I have basically like the car to do in here. Um, it comes four at a time. I'm going to zoom in. All right, now that we're zoomed in, I can do this a little better. And then we got these billboards here, which I thought would be cute. Um, got clean bedroom, along with some other stuff, mop floors. And got some from Beautiful Planning. Uh, these are the student ones. Got some from Design Sticker Store. Got a ton from Paper and Gumption. So we've got some coffees here. Um, just just lots, um, a collection of these girls. So yeah, just all the girls, um, which I'll link the shop down below because there are just so many printables. I couldn't even show you all of them without this being like two hours long. And I really don't want to do that and I can't talk for that long. But yeah, I have those and then just like some little things here. And then here we got a mix. This is actually, this is a mix of just things that could fit. We've got Spencer Jude, little paper prints. This is an old um, planting roses sampler of beauty things. Then we got <laughs> countdowns from Shop Just the Heart, some leftover coffees from Let's Make It Sparkle that I'm finally whittling down. Um, and then these are some that I made myself. So I made the voiceover and the alarm clock. I found those useful. I also made these reply to comments and pick up and these are specific to me. Also made these tiny little icons here. Um, these as well, but because the colors are true to the logo, I hardly pull them in. Then I also have these here that I found. I think I used Icon Finder. And then here I bought some clip art and just made stickers out of it. So we got binder clips and then got some, got some shakes here, which are super nice. And then here are the nail polishes that I love. Got both I got the ombre and the glitter version because the plane was just too plain for me. And then here I took some, I bought some clip art from Kittenish Girl Plans and I just made them into functional stickers. Like I said before, it just speaks to my soul on a spiritual level. So yeah, that's all that I have in here. And then last but not least is this new binder. I'm going to zoom out for you. And in here I have some glitter headers that I made myself. So I just bought the glitter and I've put them in Silhouette Studio and made headers. I've gotten great use out of them. I pulled them in on several Plain With Me's. And then here I've got some sheets from Planner, Planning Choco. Um, these are some labels. I love the style of label. And yeah, she has a full line of neutral, pastel, and bright. So definitely check it out. Each, each one I believe is $2. And here we got some Paper Crown Planner. These are just some desk front and back here. And then we've got makeup brush set from Paper Crown Planner, clean brushes, all that good stuff. And we have the Celebrate here from um, Paper Crown Planner, and it also comes with the holidays. And then lastly, this is a printable from Thule Plans. Um, she's an overseas shop, but she has a printable shop as well. And I love these little travel stickers, so I got these and made stickers. And that is my collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and until the next time, I'm going to go recoup from this, and I'll see y'all then. Bye-bye.